Firstly, I'd like to say a warm welcome to everyone from Crawley and Johnny Ems. I think that, uh, you know, they've had a, another good season in the league. Um, I think they'll be probably disappointed that they might maybe uh, not reach the playoffs. But um, I think that our game against them at the start of the season, or sorry, not at the start of this run that we had, um, was a really good game and, 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 and ultimately decided with an absolute stunning goal from Elliot Osborne. So we know we're in for a real battle, um, but um, we're all looking forward to it. Last home game of the season um, and it's something that, you know, we're, we're all going to enjoy. Looking back on the, on the win on Saturday against Cambridge, I think we've got to look back with, you know, being really proud of this side. I think that um, the way that we played was, was exceptional at times. Uh, we, we wanted to bounce back from the little run that we found ourselves on and, and we did that. I think the players, professionalism, attitude, desire to make sure that they, they change the results, you know, going into a really pressured game, knowing the outcome if, if, if obviously Cambridge won. So they deserve huge praise for that because they acquitted themselves brilliantly. And, and, and like I say, we deserve to be, to win that game three or four, in my opinion, with the chances that we had and the way that we played. So we've said that quite a lot this year where we've deserved to win by more, but uh, it's fantastic that we, we, we show people how we can play. And, and um, I thought that for us as, as a team, we were excellent. So really top day um, and, and obviously, for us to get the double over them as the top team in the league is um, something that we have to look at and, and build on. So looking forward to, to, to the Crawley game, we know it's going to be a real tough game. They, they play with real energy and get the ball forward and counter-attack. So we know we have to be at our best to get a result, but you know it is the, the last home game. So we want to finish on a positive um, after winning on, on Saturday, the, the players have been brilliant this week. So we know that we'll be going into the game full of confidence, full of belief to make sure that, that we get the double over those uh, over Crawley as well. Because every time that we play these teams and we can win both games, it's, it's building for what we want next year. So um, we know it's going to be tough. We know it's you know, going to be a, a real uh, good game to, to be involved in. But you know, we have to make sure that we continue our, our, our good performances. Obviously, on, on Thursday, we announced uh, the signings of List uh, and, and Noz. I think that um, for us, it shows our intentions to get those players signed early. I think that they have both shown real qualities uh, and improved the team in, in this run that we've had of, you know, since, since around Christmas time. But if we can tie these players down, uh, develop them, <clears throat> Not only are they going to get better, but as a team, obviously, we, we improve. Um, what I really loved about both of them is that they, they showed real intent to stay at the football club, real desire to stay, which is great for, from our point of view as staff to know that players want to stay and want to be a part of it. Um, it, it is really, really good for us. So um, really pleased. And, and, and for the football club, it shows that we're moving in the right direction. This week, we, we saw Romain Vincelot uh, decide that at the end of the season, he's going to retire. I think from my point of view as manager, um, I've never worked or been involved with a, a, a professional like him. Um, he has been instrumental to this season for the group. Off the pitch, has, has led um, every day in the way that he trains, um, the way that he conducts himself every day in the gym around around the training ground, I can't speak highly enough of 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 the man. He is, you know, he would have come back from his injury, which, by the way, no one has come back from in football before, and to put in performances that he has done for the football club this year at times when we've needed him has shown him as a character, as a, as a, as a man and, and, and as a professional. So he is someone that I have huge admiration for um, and something that I think that this club this year is, has been about, you know, the way that he's acted and his, uh, his, his profession is exactly what we wanted from this football club this year. And, and, and he's shown that in abundance. So 
he can be really proud of his career, can be really proud of how he's conducted himself this year. And uh, obviously from everyone at the football club, we want to wish him all the best um, in his retirement. He's given absolutely everything. And, um, and obviously as a football club, we'll do everything we can to help him because of, of, of what he's achieved for us this year. Um, and the way he's been uh, is just incredible. So uh, we'll do everything we can to help him.